Hey everyone, welcome back and today we'll be doing another lead code problem 543 diameter of the binary tree. Given the root of the binary tree return the length of the diameter of the tree, the diameter of the binary tree is the length of the longest path between any two nodes in the tree. This path may or may not pass through the root. The length of the binary, uh, the length of the path between two nodes is represented by the number of edges between them. In, a, in an example number one, you can see we have a binary tree one, two, three, four, five. So the the longest path is you can see from four to three, four to one, and two to one, and one to three, and also five to two, and five to uh, two to one, and then one to three. So we are skipping, you can say one, two, three. So skipping three nodes, one, two, three. So we'll be returning three. Uh, and it, it is the same for the 5 to 1 3 path so we are going to return 3 in that case also so that's it so what we'll be doing is just making an helper function in which we'll be passing our root alongside our maximum so we'll be having a maximum you can say uh, the variable in which we'll be holding the maximum of the left or the right or not the left or the right but basically the maximum diameter so we can cal uh, we are going to calculate it by this like having the left traverse to the left side and then to the right side left subtree and then to the right subtrees uh, matching there you can say taking their heights and then adding them up and if it is uh, maximum then our uh, ma it is if it is greater than our previous resultant or the maximum diameter then we are going to update it otherwise we are not and after that we can just add to the maximum of the left or the right by one so this is how we are going to be adding one at each iteration you can say not the iteration but at each recursive call at a certain node so and also our exit condition at a node not the exit condition at a leaf node yes not a leaf node because a leaf node uh, can have a null left and left and right for example in, uh, here we has null left and right so if there was not a 5 here, 2 does have its own right. So this is not basically a leave node. So we can at at whenever we hit a null pointer, you can say we are pointing at null, we are going to return 0. So we, we can just return 0 at that point and then we are going to be uh, calculating it. It is just going back again and again in a recursive uh, call. So this is how the recursion works here. So result making a single uh, single value array you can say having a single value so passing that making a function like I said diameter and passing it the root alongside the result and just in our main function we can just return the result because result we are going to return from the diameter function so that's it now we have diameter diameter yes so the self and catching the root and the result and now hmm, so not root like our exit condition checking the exit condition first so we can not uh, so we don't go any further in our loop so now uh, left self passing it uh, calling the function diameter and passing it the left so the left like left and also the result itself so the right will also do the same so the right at diameter root at left uh, not left but right and now we will be just passing the result also now we have to calculate the result or update our result so we'll be taking the maximum of the result we already have and the left plus right so this is like done and now we can just return like I said adding one at each step you can say to the our maximum to the left and taking the maximum and adding one to it so maximum left plus right and this looks good let's see if this works or not this works and that's it 